Dude. Coach Lamer, uh, looking at this camp, man on fire. It's not a bad turnout for you guys. First year doing 130 uh, athletes, huh? Yeah, I mean, I was hoping to get at least 100, and the 130, that's, yeah, we're, I'm happy with that. It's good. All right, Crescent Valley, uh, big things happening here. Um, first thing, 2014, December 2014. What happened for you with Crescent Valley in 2014? Um, yeah, that's when I took over the program, and I think we had 13 guys on the team that year, maybe 11 by the end of it. And the second year, about the same numbers. Um, the third year, we it was like 35 guys came out to be in the season. So finished with over 20, uh, 20 to 25 wrestlers. So it's growing. And then this past year, we finished with close to 30 guys. Um, so yeah, it's good. We three state champs, four placers, which is uh, usually just have been having a couple guys place. Um, so since I started coaching we've had 10 placers seven of them are state champs so we just need to get some depth with uh getting some more guys um put on the award stand but i think this next year is going to be a we're going to take a big jump you yeah. guys are betting 700 with state champs under you yeah and, and how many of those are your sons five uh, four F five four five of them yeah. five of them are your sons five, five of them are, are lamer boys which yeah. is pretty good you know and you have you and your wife have excellent pedigree as far as you know being student athletes at south dakota state she was ncaa champ in cross in track or cross country she was in track she was a multiple time all-american in cross country and then indoor and outdoor track but yeah she won a ten thousand meter her senior year and then you were three-time champ for three dakota time state? it was division two then but, but that's not good. bad i think that's still pretty good it's still not bad i was the only three-timer at the time yeah which uh, is so really state. impressive yeah. so so you got you have five sons what's five the boys. youngest Youngest is Dashiell. He's 13. He'll be in eighth grade next year. And then your oldest is? Justice. He's 21. He's the runner. He took after his mom. Uh, runs at Montana State. And four of the five are actually wrestlers. Yep. That's yeah. pretty good, Coach. Justice was a pretty good wrestler. He placed in state. Uh, Did he? But after his sophomore year, he just started focusing on his running. What's it been so. like working with Kevin Roberts? You know, he, oh, he has an yeah. unfortunate situation with Oregon State, and it's kind of like silver lining, you know, for you. You yeah. get him over here, and Drew wins state for you, and your two boys win state. You guys are going to be right there. Yeah, and we got some a couple guys coming in next year that are, like, title contenders as freshmen. And um, we got some guys that are going to be seniors that have been with me since they were freshmen. And, yeah, we've got – we should do real well next year. Iron Man? Team. Iron Man? Yeah, we got an invitation. A guy reached out to Kevin um, to go to Iron Man, and um, so we're going to do what we can to get out there. I mean, that's, it'd be great to see where our boys are against uh, the top uh, top kids in the country. So, yeah, we're going to make sure we get them there. Any Croatia for you? Yeah, Croatia. You are, leave, you're going? Yeah, I leave in one week to go out and watch Chance. Uh, I'll get there two days before he weighs in, so I'll help him get down to weight, and then, yeah, hopefully he wrestles well and can win it would be great and uh but even just to bring home a medal would be awesome like you've wrestled you have international experience you wrestled your regan you're a world champion at the university level yeah. so you know you've got the experience how do you relate that to your son and you know this is his first time overseas wrestling for the united states right yeah representing the usa what do you, what you know what type of advice how do you prepare him for that well there's a lot of different things that go into it i mean he's gonna be cutting weight so you know we made sure we sent some food with him so he's got some of his own food to eat because you just never know what it's going to be like in other countries um, you got to make sure you got an electric outlet changer because they don't have the same electrical stuff. And like, if you want to use your phone, you got to make sure you take this with you. Don't forget it. Um, so there's just a lot of things. You got the time change. Um, they're nine hours ahead of where we are. So there's, it's, it's tough. I mean, you go over there, your sleep's messed up, but they're getting out there like five, four or five days ahead of time. And they say so. for every time zone, you're supposed to have a day. I believe that's actually what you're supposed to do travel wise. So it should be nine days. They're going to get five. So he'll be, be close a, to acclimated, yeah, in, but cutting weight too on top spring. of it. Yeah, and then he's cutting weight. But he's training at elevation right now, probably doing yeah. some elevation training, you know. But uh, that's pretty I, – I did not know you were going. Yeah, yeah, I got to go. Wife so. staying, going? She's not going, no. She's You're Just mistake. you? Yeah. Well, good so. luck to you guys, man. Yeah, it's exciting. And when do yeah, they get their draws and everything after they win? Yeah, probably. They get so, two-hour weigh-in, so. That's, good for, that's good for us. I know, yeah. 
that should be good for us. All right, Coach Roberts, uh, I got to go over and talk to him. He's a little bit of a maniac. I think his energy levels come down a little bit. You got anything else for me? No, um, we're just excited to have this camp here. Hopefully, it'll be an annual event. Um, but we got some tough kids, and I think they're learning a lot of good stuff. So it's been fun. All right, Ohio, December. I'll see you there. Awesome.